Hi guys, thank you very much for tuning in on this episode of Slick Hair TV. Today I brought my assistant, Sarah. <laughs> She's also my fiance, and we are expecting a little one, number two, actually, uh, very soon. Yes, obviously. The reason why I brought Sarah to this episode is because even though it's Corona times and most salons are closed at barbershops as well, that doesn't mean that you have to stay ungroomed. So uh, Sarah will be my helping hand, trimming my edges, because after all, it's the small details around your whole hairstyle that makes it look pretty super awesome and groomed. I'll do my best. Just a disclaimer, I'm not a hairdresser, so um, this is just to show what, what you can do with uh, whomever you are quarantining with at home. Let's get to it. Yes. I'll take the camera and take a look at my neck. It needs to be groomed a little bit. Looks a little bit like a caveman, and also around the, the neck jawline. We have to, we have to do something with that. All right. Will I have to take my shirt off? You decide. <laughs> Depends on I, if you I, want to. To be honest, shirts, if, there's no nasty going on here. It's just me taking the shirt off to avoid hair in in the scratching in the neck. It's not nothing worse. <laughs> So I'm just making sure not to chop off too much. I'm just going around the edges here and then I'll leave the rest for the professionals <laughs> once the salons are open again. So already I think this is a much better look than before. All right, so um, I'm just gonna trim around the ears as well. Here we go, around the ears. This is not supposed to be a professional <laughs> head trim or anything like that. It's just no. making sure this you look a little bit This is very realistic. Room. Okay, yeah. so I'm just gonna see if I can just take a little bit of the length with the comb over. There we go. I think it's pretty good. I think we need to do something about this. <laughs> the jawline. The jawline. That's, that's not good. That's really not good. <laughs> there we go. And now it's time to trim the brows, isn't it? Yes. And make sure not to ruin the, the shape of the brow. So definitely don't do too much on the top of the brow. Go from beneath. That'll make the eye look bigger. I'll do this because unibrow is just never a good look. So let's get rid of that. I think the only one who could pull that off was Frida Kahlo. But uh, right. let's just remove uh, the ones in the middle here. And if you don't have a Tweezler, I think you should go get one. It's actually uh, very handy to have one. Yes. So I use my trimmer to, uh, to remove it, but it's not the best solution. You have to tweeze it out. I mean, that's definitely a possibility. I'm not going to do that. You get red spots when you use the tweezer. So don't uh, do it five minutes before going to the grocery store. A little tip, you can always put on some cold stuff. This is an ice cube. It will take away the red, redness way faster. Don't forget your nose here. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you could use the tips and tricks. Yes. Just because it's Corona doesn't mean you have to look like a caveman. Stay safe out there, stay indoor as much as you can. And stay positive. Yeah. See you guys. <laughs>